Hello, we will continue to learning Lanza PLC programming basics in this tutorial. Um, previously, we learned a global variable list, how can we define it? And I forgot to tell you, in the pause area, you can see global variable list and Mustafa global variable list, okay? These are included in here, not in here. If you can't see it in here, you can see them all in this area, okay? In the PEO use, okay? And now I will go to uh, my PLC programming section area in the later diagram and let's take a look once to um, our bit logic instructions. What is the bit logic? Um, bit logic that we can think about, um, for example, normally open and normally close contacts and the sets and resets and etc. For example, now what we have normally open contact. And let us add here one more network, okay, in maybe we can say to below and later elements area, I will add to here negated contact or uh, normally closed contact. And in here, we can with the drag and drop method, we can put here our coil, okay. And now one more thing in network in here. And now we can say, for example, the contact to here and set contact and we can say one more contact to below and here and reset coil to here okay now we can continue to learning to let's define it first of all set output and this will be bool okay and output set or output active will reset output will be build okay and output um, disactive we can say it like this and what can we say and uh, normally close contact will be bool and nege nc output will be bool okay let's define them all this will be set okay continue okay in here i will say set output and here we will say output active okay dear students if you want to learn plc programming effectively and professionally you can learn it with the darstagram if you go to udemy if you search in here darstagram you will see my four course and then we are creating a new plc programming courses and the next things first of all if you go to um, Complete Delta PLC programming course, you will see 127 lectures and 14 total hours course for Delta PLCs. And in Omron PLC programming, you will see two different uh, software. 6.1 plus Sysmax Studio software is included to this course. If you go to in um, right side, you will see 10.5 hours video tutorial okay and then 14 articles and etc and if you go there uh, a little bit down you will see complete sections and whole hmis also and also you can read you can see siemens plc programming basics and the lenza plc programming basics the lenza is the first course that ever created uh, in YouTube in Udemy also and there you will see like a code sys, okay a lot of course points in Lanze if you go to course sections okay you will see Lanze PLC programming basics and also industrial automation basics like a power supplies and relays and these sections are always updating and also control circuit basics and etc and gifts if you want to reach to these courses with the lowest price, you need to go to www.darstagram.com, okay? And then 
you will see these courses uh, reach course buttons if you left click to omron plc programming uh, reach course button you will see lowest price coupon is added to here okay if you go to for example lense and then you will see lowest price coupon is added to here okay so you can reach to whole courses with the lowest price coupon via dersagram.com okay and you can learn plc programming with us see you in the courses and we will say to here reset output and in here we will say output disactive and in here we will say normally close contact and we will say in here in normally close output now we are ready let's build our program and let's see are there any problem or not so now let's go online to my simulation login with the online change okay or we can say login with the download so what does that means uh, we our simulator was activated and now we will do a, a download complete project and the simulator will start again or we will change program inside the simulator without a download and i will say login with online change okay um, now let's activate this simulator project okay now what we have you can see this is normally close contact because of this we have an output directly okay you can see it. this is normally close output and this is because of false um, or it is not high so we have an output let us make set output i will mm, add watch to here okay let's make it like this maybe a little bit here but it is too small for you and now in watch table what we have start motor let's make start motor active and we have an output let's set output is active okay write the values so you can see now and this is really important point if i disactivate start motor to false okay so motor started output is gone and this is low okay zero if i disactivate set output in here false write the values output active is still high why because of we use set instruction and because of set instruction it is late okay how can we uh, reset it for example we can reset output and we define another uh, output but i i can adapt it like this maybe i will say to here let's go offline um, output active will be resetted with this um, contact and login again with the online change and the run simulation and now you can see output is active okay still remain if i activate reset output to true okay so you can see output active is resetted and let's make this false and again set output <coughs> in here true and now it is set it okay let's make it false so this is set still remain and reset output input is becomes high or true so output active is resetted so this is how can we use set and reset instructions in lanze plc's okay and let's make it make to here and let's make true okay so this is true so there is no output because of the inverse contact okay and if this is high there is an output but in here normally close contact if this is low or zero so we have an output let's make it false and write the values on we have an output so this is basically bit logic in the letter diagram in the lens plc programming i am finished for this video see you in the next video